What's up guys, JDog here at Seekhost and today we're back with another WordPress tutorial. Today we're going to be going through how you can make an online form calculation so you can give people calculations for anything, um, websites, nail salons, anything can use this and it's for free as well. Now just an explanation of what I mean, I've got this form here, um, this is to build a website and get a quote as well so let's just go through, as you can see there we can get the choices. Um, and choices do lead to more choices. For instance, if I go for a pre-made theme, um, I'm going to get these options here. However, if I go back, uh, I choose e-commerce, for instance, we get more choices for that choice. So let's just go ahead, fill that in right here. Go to next, um, adding features, extra stuff that you can add to your package. So let's just tick one of these, go to next. Um, as you can see there, we get an approximate price now and the contact form. So that's super quick, super easy, free to do. Um, and you can basically tell people how much it's gonna cost before they come and book with you. And that's really gonna help push some sales. So let's get into this and let's get on to how to do it. So first things first is you're gonna need a plugin called Forminator. Now, if we go to plugins over here, um, I've already got it installed. I'll just show you how to search for it. And let's just go to new. Now, Forminator is a great, great plugin. I use it all the time. Now, this is primarily because it's free and pretty much all of the functions that you get free, you even get free payment as well. You can set up your, uh, your Stripe or your PayPal. And also to get something like this, like a form calculator, you do usually have to pay for a paid plugin, get a pro version. So this is going to be really good, really handy for your website. So as you can see there, we've got Forminator. Just go ahead, install now, activate, and let's head over to the back end of it. So when Forminator is installed, you can come on the left and go to forms. And we're basically just going to create a new form now, follow along, obviously make any changes you need, and then you can make your own form calculator. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a blank template here. I'm just going to call this test. As you can see, we start with absolutely nothing. And you basically, it's almost like a drag and drop or like, you know, box by box, basically like how you work with WordPress. So now for this example, I'm just going to make one. Um, let's say we're a nail salon and we want to sell some nail services. Um, so let's just make a form to suit that. First things first is obviously we're going to need to insert some fields um, and the first fields that we're going to insert is going to be radio. Um, let's go to insert field after that and this is where we can put the information for it. So we're going to start off with two choices first. That's going to be whether you want press on nails or acrylic nails. So I'm going to leave my label as what I want this to be called. So I'm going to call that nail type and I've added my two choices at the bottom now here. So they're going to get to choose either one or the other. Now let's just go to make sure that they actually do have to choose them. So require, we're going to set that to required. You can also add a requirement message. This will pop up if um, somebody tries to go to the next step and hasn't filled in this field. And then next up, we're going to go to calculations. Now, this is going to be important. We're going to hit enable, and this is how you can add a value to um, each particular field. So let's say press on nails, we're going to cost you £20. I'm going to put 20 in there. Let's say acrylics cost you £15. Uh, now, I could be wrong here. I literally don't know what's more expensive than the other one. Uh, so I'm just going to be using prices out of my head. So press on will be £20 if you add that option. If you go for acrylic, it'll be 15 Next up, we're going to go to apply. So we're going to create that field. We've got our field there. If you want to preview it you can preview it like this and it will show you uh, one other really awesome thing on here is if you want it to show images like I did on my one earlier um, come back onto it we're going to press this little drop down menu next to press on um, and then we do enable images and you can then upload an image for it as well so you will not only have a press on but you can also have a picture of a press on set or whatever else you're using. However, I do not need images, so let's just take that off. So the, it's basically the way that you want to, people to go through your site now. So do you want that to be the only question they move on to the next one? If that is the case, we're going to do an insert field and we're going to do a page break. So a page break now means that the next question will be on the next page. So if we go to preview, you're going to see that we get to choose this. After we choose this, we can go to the next stage. Next up, let's give people um, another choice. So this time it's going to be whether they want a full set or whether they want single nails. However, what we're going to do is we're going to throw uh, a little if into there, which means that um, full sets will give you some options, but if you go for a single set, it'll give you a couple of extra options to choose what nail you want. So let's just go ahead and first of all, we're going to do a radio again. I'm just going to call this nail sets again. Um, this isn't going to be exactly correct. Obviously, this is just to show you how you can make one. Um, this can be for whatever type of business you want. So first option is going to be full set. So this is if they want a full set of nails. Second one is going to be single nail. Um, maybe you don't want a full set and you just want to pick single nails. So next up, we go to settings um, and are these uh, required? So they are going to be required. We do need to know what they need. Next up, we're going to go to calculations again and we're going to enable. So we're going to set a price for our full set and our single nails. So let's say our full set cost another £25. Um, single nails will cost you, uh, I don't know, like £3 or something like that again completely out of my head here <laughs> so uh so we're going to assign that we're going to do 25 pound and three pound as we can go to preview on the top now we can see that we can choose uh, which one we want there we can go to next and then we can also choose full set or single nail now let's add another bit which uh, in case you want to add extras to your package let's just go ahead and do a page break here just to make sure that we're going through to the next page uh so we got 
nail type, nail sets, page break. Then we're going to go to the next one, which is going to be added extras. For this, I'm going to use a checkbox because you can check as many as you need. Uh, so let's just go over to here. Let's go checkbox and we'll change that to added extras. So um, let's say diamonds for one of them, two tone colors for another, and sparkles. Honestly, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to add that next up let's head over to settings and are these required we're going to leave these as optional because obviously they're optional extras people might not want to get them next up again calculations go over and enable and we're going to add some prices here so let's say this is going to be three pound two pound four pound for sparkles and then we're going to hit apply because we want this to show for anybody because even if they're getting single nails they might still want the optional extras now what we're going to do is we're going to add another field that's only going to pop up if people have chosen the single set nail so let's just go again to insert nail we're going to go to checkbox and i'm going to call this single set extras just so i know as well when it pops up and um, what the option is going to be so for the single sets i'm going to name this as a uh, finger choice obviously you need to choose what finger you need for your nails i'm assuming anyway so um let's just go ahead i'm just going to write three down so let's just write thumb um let's do pinky and let's do index because i can't remember the rest of the words uh, for your fingers so these three options are going to come only if you tick um the single set nail option now to do this we're going to go first to settings and we are going to require this because obviously if you have single sets you're going to need to definitely choose what finger you want it for um next up calculations so again we're going to add the price to them so let's say thumb will be uh 10 um let's just put them all as 10 actually so 10 for pinky and then 10 for your index finger as well um styling again we don't really need to worry about but we do need to worry about visibility this is how we can set the um you know show if uh, option there so what we're going to do is we're going to keep that as show we're going to keep that as all and we're going to go to add rule from the nail type here what we need to do is actually choose um, that particular field so it was in nail sets was the option so it's the second option down um, and it was single nail so we've chosen the field and then we've chosen the option within that field that has to be checked if this is checked then we're going to leave this as is and it will show so let's just go ahead and click done here let's go to apply and i'm going to move this just to the right of this one so it looks a little bit better now let's go to preview just to make sure that is working so let's go press on uh, next let's go to full set just to make sure that it's not showing so we go next very nice so you can see here you can add the optional extras however if you do choose single set we're going to go to next and you're going to get the finger choice as well so your thumb pinky index um, again you'd probably want to spend a bit of time um, sort of making sure this also makes sense this is just to show you um, and obviously this goes straight through to make message um, but we don't want to do that yet we want to add some contact details as well because obviously um, and also the quote itself so we want to actually give people the quote not going to be that hard at all um, so first of all let's just go to page break we're going to break that and then we're going to go to the details section so let's just do a really quick one let's just do uh, the whole name field i won't go too much into this do multiple uh, take out the prefix take out the middle name we don't need that settings set this to required obviously because uh, you're going to need to know the names of the people that are sending these things in and then we're going to go to apply afterwards let's say as well you just want their email so obviously you're going to need some way of contacting them either their email or their phone uh, i'm just going to go to required again do spend a bit of time actually naming these uh, entering placeholders that work and stuff like that don't just click through like i am um, and then required can set that apply i'm going to put the email address just to the bottom let's see what that looks like quickly before i go on um, it's always good to check with a preview because sometimes they just don't come out how you actually want them to okay first name last name email address very nice so um now time for the important bit which is the calculations how would you calculate all of this so what we're going to do here is we're going to do an insert field and we're going to go to calculations so from calculations click that insert field and what we're going to do here um you can call this whatever you want um say subtotal and then we're going to go to settings um, do you want to keep this as read only or hidden i'm going to keep this as read only you can also change the separators uh, how many decimals you want it to round to uh, and the prefix and suffix we will change so the prefix is the bit before the amount they're going to give you suffix is the amount after it so um let's just say price and then the pound mark and I'm actually just going to leave the suffix alone. Some people like to put the price and then they'll have the money and then they'll have the, you know, afterwards. Or especially if you're doing weights and stuff like that, you can put something and then KG. Uh, however, I want mine to appear price, um, obviously the currency mark and then the amount. Next up to calculations. This is how we calculate it all. What you're going to do, top left, um, add form field. And we're basically going to go through all of these and add them. So nail type plus um, nail sets plus added extras plus and then we're going to go for finger choice so that's basically going to plus everything so whatever you have selected on there it's going to plus it together and we're going to give you an approximate total um, obviously as you can see we do have other options you can minus uh, divide 
um, etc. We've even got the brackets, you know, for other equations. So we've got all of that, and as you can see there, for me preview layers, this plus this plus this plus this will give us our answer. Um, next up, let's go to apply, and let's just do a really quick test just to make sure that it is working. So preview, um, nail type, we want to go for a press on nail. In fact, no, yeah, yeah, no, let's go for a press on nail. Uh, next up, we're going to go for a full set. Um, in fact, let's go for a single nail set so we get all the other options as well. So we want some diamonds on there. We also want it on our thumb and our index. Uh, next up, let's go to next. As you can see there, we have, uh, you know, for our details to be sent in and we have our subtotal price, £46. Now, that's really great and primarily all the work that you're going to have to do. Let's just go over some little things just to make sure that your page is looking really great. So first of all, one thing that you can change is the pagination. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the bit um, along the top. Let's just go to preview. Um, this bit here, what does it say? Do you want it to say pages? Do you want to say something else? So let's just change that over. Let's go to pagmentation um, and let's change the actual wording to it. Let's just do nail type, nail sets, extras, and then I'm just going to call the last one uh, details because it's going to be getting in your details. Perfect. Once done, hit apply. And um, if we go to preview again, you're going to see along the top line. Um, we should have nail type, nail sets, extras, details, and of course you can change that as well. One other thing that you can change is you can actually change that into a progress bar. So guys, that's the form. You've done it now. Um, any other optional extras that you can do, of course, is go to appearance. This is how you can change all of it. If you want to change it, it's going to start off as the default. Uh, if you want to change it to flat, you can change it to flat or bold uh, material, and you can also do a preview just to make sure that actually it is going to look okay. So that's looking all right. It hasn't really changed too much. I think it's made little lines between there. So that one looks good. Let's keep that one. Colors, this is really good. It was really is fully customizable as well obviously use the default colors if you want to if you want to go to custom you can change every single color on there from your form container you can change everything on here so form container field basics input text area you can change all of these to suit you and your website from fonts um form containers again the padding the border the spacing all of this you can also add custom css Next up with the behavior, you can choose what happens to it afterwards. Obviously, at the moment, we're going to do a thank you for contact this, uh, contacting us uh, message. You can then add a behavior after that. So if we go to add behavior, uh, you can change the label to it. What is the message? Do you want to redirect a user afterwards? So when they finish, do you want to redirect them to another page, potentially your shop page or a thank you page? And you can also set conditions, which we won't go into at the moment. It also comes with free honeypot protection. So this is for anti-spam and also you can um, add recapture. So if you have a recapture added to your formulator, you can add a recapture a field at any point. Let's just show you now how you can do that. If we go over to fields at the moment, uh, obviously you do need to set up the recapture first. It really does take just a matter of seconds. And the link is just there um, and all you got to do is just find the capture click that press insert and then just choose the recapture uh, one that you have set up so obviously we've got the v2 checkbox set up here and um, i'm just going to go to apply now if we go to preview we should find that right at the end we've also got a recapture um i'm not a robot option here let's just choose the choices again there we go so also you got the bot protection there as well as the honeypot spam protection next up email notifications obviously this is going to come through to the admin email this is the admin email on this website but you can add as many emails with messages as well that you want so you can send it through to your other admins or you know sales people in your team it will let them know and they can also go and check you can also set up integrations and of course all of your settings options can be changed here and you're going to end up with a really nice calculator um, to give people an approximate price or an exact price about what they want to get on your site, along with sending you the details so you can get their name, email address, numbers and stuff like that for you to contact them back. And of course, because this is Formulator, the submissions are absolutely free. Um, so if I go to submissions, unlike other forms, and this is why I like to use this, that you don't have to go for the pro version so you can check your submissions. Simply come to the submissions, um, check the one that you want, go to submissions and it will show you everything there. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope that's helped, um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, we've got lots of different uh, WordPress videos coming out, lots of tutorials, and it will really help you grow your site. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time, bye bye.